Everyone give us a Friday. Hey! Nothing. No. I just supposed to say yes. No. Somebody nobody said yes. <laughs> That's a first. Yes! Uh, <laughs> thanks, y'all. Hi, yes! right, first day of all DLC is totally fucked. Yep, really, it's garbage. <laughs> it's total garbage. Turtle Walk co-founder actually addressed it. It's been about a month since the last one, so we're long overdue for some kind of DLC scandal. So polish off your angriest forum post. <laughs> uh, the profiteering that's got everyone in a tizzy this month is Evolve, uh, whose DLC plan is so confusing that it's going to take us a bit to explain it up front. Uh, Lawrence, why don't, you, why don't yeah. you go ahead? Why don't you go? I'm going to take a nap. Oh boy, I'm going to be talking for a while. Okay. okay, so first off, we've got the hunting season pass. And that includes one new character in each of the game's four classes and one new skin for each of the game's three monsters. Uh, if you buy that by itself, it costs $25. So if you bundle that with the game, you're looking at spending $85. Dear God. Uh, uh, go if ahead. you just want the season pass and the game, you can get the digital deluxe pack, which is the base game and season pass, and a monster expansion pack, which includes a fourth monster, the behemoth, and a skin for the Goliath. Dear that costs $80 meaning you'd be saving $5 over buying them individually and getting a new monster. Lawrence, that's $80 total, right? Yeah, so essentially you're saving $5, but it gets more complicated from there. All right. Oh, okay. There's also the Evolve PC Monster Race Package, which surprises for the PC version of the game. That includes the game, the Hunting Season Pass, the Monster Expansion Pack, an unannounced fifth monster, two more Hunter characters, and four more monster skins that are only in this particular package. Uh, yeah, that runs $100. Yeah. So, uh, Another $20 nets you another monster, four new characters, and four skins. Why is this a free-to-play game? What happened? No, no, it's not free-to-play. Uh, <laughs> it feels like Oh, it. and you can buy the Behemoth individually for $15. What is happening? I, I'm not really sure. Oh. Uh, you can't buy right now, though, sometime. We're not sure. Oh, yeah. There's oh, more. There's more. Oh, yeah, and the Behemoth is also a pre-order bonus, so you can get that simply by pre-ordering any version of the game anyway. Uh, that's it. For now. Right, Lawrence, is that, are we done? Uh, maybe. It, it actually gets more complicated from there because <laughs> Damn it. every single skin can be bought a la carte. Uh, so if for some reason you really want an individual monster to look like it's made of magma or whatever, you can like spend some money to do that. Cool. It's just, it's getting obscene. All right. Uh, it should come as, as no surprise to this DLC offering confused and angered the internet. Uh, yeah, not only is it hyper complicated, but it's also committing the cardinal sin of game sales and offering expansion content before the game's even out. Uh, it implies something very bad. The developers could have included content in the retail package, but chose not to, just to squeeze extra money out of you guys, the consumers. No, they yeah, what a surprise! That. What a surprise. Uh, luckily, Turtle Rock co-founder Phil Robb addressed that very concern on the Turtle Rock forums. He writes, a lot of folks seem to be under the impression that we've got all this content done and we shave off a hunk of it to sell separately. That just isn't the case. When Evolve hits the shelves, none of the DLC will be done. Hmm, it continues in promising, geez, of course this is long too. Uh, if we thought we could have finished all those monsters and hunters for ship, we would have put them in the box. Okay. But then instead they're charging for them? I maybe. Well, Rob also addresses the hyper complication of Evolve's DLC. He writes, ultimately, Toro Rock Studios makes the games we don't sell them. And as the developers, we've done our best to make a game that people want to play. Mm -hmm. We then have to trust our publisher to make the best decision on how to sell that game. Oh, okay. So just to bottom line it, uh, who's Turtle Rock blaming here, Lawrence? Uh, I don't know if they're blaming anyone. They're being very diplomatic about it. Sure. They're just saying, hey, all we do is make stuff. We just make the cool stuff. And we hope you guys get it eventually, and 2K is kind of the middleman that decides how it gets divided up, how much it's going to cost, the various packages, pre-order bonuses, incentives. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they are essentially blaming 2K here, but they're saying, get mad at them. Right. We just want to, we're your friend. We want to make cool stuff for you. Uh, we want to make giant dick monsters. What? <laughs> uh, anyway, we're not here to defend crappy business practices. That's not our job. Uh, it is possible that 2K complicated the DLC proposition on purpose just to push people towards buying everything. What, really? Like, they spent $100 on this game? Uh, someone might. Um, all right. Do I want the skins or the monsters or the classes or fuck it, just buy it all? I don't really, I don't know if anybody's going to do For a new IP that you've never heard of? Yeah, sure, maybe. Not sure. And as usual, we recommend that if you don't like it, don't buy it. Right. That's just, obviously. that's an easy one. Uh, remember that Turtle Rock will make all playable maps free, meaning that you won't be locked out of the rest of the player base once the DLC starts rolling out. That's not too bad. So ironically, you'll have an easier time not buying any of the DLC uh, with Evolve than any of the other shooters out there. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, just make sure you get mad at the right people. Uh, looks like Turtle Rock just wants to make a fun game and cool stuff for you guys. Uh, we know you guys are already starting change.org petitions about it. Lawrence, really? Uh, I assume so. I didn't look at it. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Friday, man. I want to be in a good mood. I don't want to get mad at people on the internet to get mad at other people on the internet. So overall, the interesting takeaway here is they're doing something that uh, I particularly like. What they've done with a lot of multiplayer shooters is where they release maps and they lock people out. 
At least with this, they're not doing that. Yeah, and true. like uh, my counterpart over here, Spool's telling me. I did. He's on my shoulder. Uh, he, he's saying that if other people have the skins, you're not locked out of seeing those. You just can't use them yourself. So like, it sounds just like a free to play game or like an MMO or like a MOBA or something like that. You just gotta keep so. paying a little extra for skins and stuff like sure. that. Sure. Okay. I mean, you, you don't have, if you don't have, you don't have to though, right? If you wanna be, if you wanna be cool, you gotta pay for it. If you want to be spool, on your, don't be spool. On your trailers. Uh, <laughs> Saints Row got a hell launch trailer. Uh, this is the thing. Yep. There's dick kicking? Yep, and I called the 800 number that's in it. And? It goes to a, uh, just a recording, and they put you on hold forever. That's it? Yeah, and they just... They put you on hold to hear a recording? They say you're like the 666th 66 caller, caller yeah. and it just keeps talking about the game, and it just goes... I stood on for like 10 minutes. Hoping it was a sex line. Thanks, Saints Row. I was hoping a real person would click on and talk to me. God bless America. We're done. So, uh, Lawrence, are you there? Uh, Lawrence, fix yourself. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> Every, okay, I figured it out. Every time my phone makes any kind of sound that isn't Skype, it crashes Skype. Oh, that's a fun glitch. So, uh, I got a meaning notification for the stand up that crashed Skype. I tried to turn up the volume, that crashed Skype. So no one call me.